You enjoyed the leadership qualities, the initiative qualities, when it came to he asked you out, he planned the date, he paid for the date, he moved things forward, he went for the first kiss. You love it when men are leaders in that regard. Mm -hmm. You only want leadership when it benefits you, right? You don't want the other component of leadership when you have to defer to him in other situations. So you only want a leader when it benefits you. When it doesn't benefit you, all of a sudden it's 50-50, you want equality. In order for you to be with a leader, you need to be a follower, point blank period. You said partnership. Did, you, did the words equal, did she say equal? Give I'm, and take. Give and take. Equal give and take. Give and take. Do you really want a partnership? Do you really want equal? Um, I don't, I think that a relationship is two people with different sets of strengths helping mm -hmm. each other grow. But so, do you want a guy to lead? I think uh, that, yes, I would like a man who has vision for his life mm -hmm. and he has ambition for his life and that that ambition and that vision is something that I am also, that we're going in the same direction. <laughs> So that we can partner together in that in that way. Are you but, talking like career? No, just like life overall. It includes career for sure. But, but I'm like, asking, do you want a guy to lead? Do you um, want a leader in your relationship? I think that I'm attracted to leadership qualities. Yeah, but do I want him to direct everything that I say and think? No, I want. I think. Well, well yeah, you okay, have yeah. autonomy. I want. You have autonomy. I do want of leadership, course. and I think that good leadership is one that is like, oh, like. What, what do you think? Is there something that I might be missing? Is there something that I don't understand, sure. right? That's Absolutely. taking taking everything that I think into consideration also respects You can take and into consideration. Me. You can even consult. There can be thorough consultation. <laughs> but isn't it the case that the leader makes the final determination? And if the final determination is no. No about something that I can and cannot do, like sure. like wear something or not wear something? Well, you just said you want a leader, right? So is a leader to you the only entailment of what a leader is, is only when you agree? Or are there instances <laughs> when a leader will make a determination that perhaps you personally disagree with, but you have to defer to their leadership? I think it depends on what the subject is. For instance, the guy... You going to a pool party in a bikini <laughs> or a pool party period can i, I ask I think, something wait let, let her finish i think that good leadership knows what its strengths are and knows what its weaknesses are and my my strength as the leader of the relationship is um protecting the relationship okay by precluding you from going to essentially a single event. Singles event. Well, we're not dating, and I would never date someone who has well, that ideal. So to me, for instance, I'm dating somebody who has more financial literacy than me, okay? So if we're talking about something finance-based, and he's like, don't do that, I'm going to defer to him because he knows more. But in a situation like a social situation where I might be wearing something that makes him feel uncomfortable, it's going to be a give and take. And if he was like, no don't do that because I'm uncomfortable with it. I would have it be a conversation. What what is there to would, what what's the conversation? I would say why are you, why do you feel uncomfortable with that? I think you know when it comes sometimes to conversations like this, I think no is a one word sentence. I don't need to justify my reason. I can just say no, and that should be it. And that's why we're not dating. That I'm comes trying, across. I'm as, not trying. That comes to across as a dictatorship. Yeah. That's what it, honestly, that's what a relationship should be. <laughs> no, it that's should like be. what you want, and that's uh, fine. Then find no. a woman who won't talk back no, to you. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have to, <laughs> for something like this. I don't think it's necessary for me to have to justify my reasoning. Then find a girl who wants that. That's right. <laughs> or, uh, you think that all male and women and female relationships should be exactly like that? Where men say no and women say, okay, whatever you want, no questions asked. So long as women continue to demand leadership qualities when said leadership qualities stand to benefit you. For example, you said that in your, the, the guy you're dating right now, you enjoyed the leadership qualities, the initiative qualities. Mm -hmm. When it came to he asked you out, he planned the date, he paid for the date, he moved things forward, he went for the first kiss. You love it when men are leaders in that regard. Mm -hmm. You only want leadership when it benefits you, right? You don't want 
the other component of leadership when you have to defer to him in other situations. So you only want a leader when it benefits you. When it doesn't benefit you, all of a sudden it's 50-50, you want equality. In order for you to be with a leader, you need to be a follower, point blank period. Um, I think that that is a very black and white way of thinking about leadership. I think that there are ways that you can lead that allows a little bit more give and take than what you're than how you're thinking. I feel like it's sure. I think sure. I think what you are are you or wanting and what you think is one person is compl in complete and total leisure, leadership and one person in, is in complete and total submission. If that's what you want and you want a girl who also wants that, then go for it. I personally take, sounds like a good deal. I take more of a yin yang approach, meaning the man leads so, in in most ways, yeah. and then in some ways we have more discussion mm. and then in some yeah, ways like I e take the leadership. So equality like the buffet of equality. You pick and choose what you want. The equality that benefits you, you disregard the equality that doesn't well, benefit you. Well the ways you. in which I it's like lead feminism, basically. the ways in which I lead in the relationship, he benefits from those. How do you lead in the relationship? Um, I mean by having insights and discussions about things That's instead of leading. just completely That's submitting. That's not leading. To okay. Well what, I'm super, what's the insight? Huh? What's the insight? Well, for instance, if we had if we had a discussion about if he was uncomfortable with something that I'd wear, I don't think it would be something where he says I'm uncomfortable, and I'm like, sure, no problem. You, you know what I mean? You'd have to we'd receive have a, justification. We'd have a discussion about it, yeah. And then you'd be like, well, you're a pansy and insecure for mm. feeling this way. No, continue. You, you're you would putting like, words in my mouth. That's not what okay, I would say. Okay, fine. I'm not being fair. You would just continue, <laughs> like, continuously badger and badger, and like keep trying to seek the justification. Why do like? Why would I have to say more than, "Don't do it. This makes me uncomfortable." I, I don't it, even think you need the the. This makes me uncomfortable. I think the "Don't do it" is sufficient. Okay. Then you do. Then go ahead so and do would, that. What would be okay? We'll role play. We'll role play as your boyfriend. Okay. So I don't want you to wear that. It makes me uncomfortable. Oh, okay. What What about it makes you uncomfortable? Too revealing. Oh, it's too revealing. Yeah. And you don't want me to wear something too revealing because I just I don't know. Don't like it. You don't know and you don't like it. Is mm -hmm. there a way in which we can get to you being able to articulate how you're feeling? Because your feelings really matter to me, and I want to make sure that you feel comfortable, but what you're giving me isn't enough, and I just want to make sure that I am that we have good communication. So can you go into a little bit more depth about why that makes you feel uncomfortable? I just vaguely feel uncomfortable with it. You vaguely feel uncomfortable. I can't. I mean, I don't know how else to precisely articulate this. I know with certainty I feel uncomfortable with it. Okay. Don't want you to go out to the party. Okay, so so you don't want to communicate to me why, or you I don't know? I just did. I don't know what else you want me to tell you. I guess I want you to say why you feel uncomfortable with me going. Is it because you think that I'm dressing for other men? Uh, I just think it's, when it comes to this, it's a boundary that re remains a reasonable dating standard for commitment-minded men. Okay, so the way in which I'm dressing makes you feel like it's inappropriate for our relationship? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So do you agree to not go to the party uh, because I, I'm uncomfortable? I think that this is a further discussion about our long-term compatibility. Okay, so you, you're essentially preempting the breakup then. Well, okay. I would say if I'm with someone who doesn't You're know right. how to communicate You're what right. he's feeling, I just, then we're not How did compatible. I not communicate? I'm literally communicating. I know we're still role-playing a little bit, but... I mean, yeah, if that's what you think communication is, I guess I'm looking for a deeper level of uh, self-awareness and self-understanding and communication, which means we're probably not This compatible. is a standard that I want in a partner. You're going out to this party. Don't want you at the party. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll add more. So frequently, women will go to this party. Even if you have no intention of talking to other men, men are going to come up to you. There's potentially creepy men at this party. They could try to you know, put something in your drink. Yeah. I'm aware of this. This is a complaint that a lot of women have. I'm doing this to protect the <laughs> relationship. And as my role as protector in the relationship, I'm trying to protect you too. Mm -hmm. I don't want something bad to happen at this party. Yeah. Okay. I don't I want you to go to it. 
you don't want me to go to because you you care about me and you don't want to see me get hurt. I care about men. you. I care about your safety and I care about the relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, still I going mean, to the party? I mean, if it makes you that... <laughs> Answer the, are you still going to the party? <laughs> if it makes you that uncomfortable because you really... You actually are scared for my safety. Like, are there reasons that make this party make you feel more uncomfortable than the party I went to last week or whatever? Oh, you went to a party last week? Oh, I, you didn't tell me about that. <laughs> Later. <laughs> I'm out. So he's going in. <laughs> uh... Yeah. I'm just saying, like, whoever I choose as a partner, if they're actually, if it's not coming from insecurity, it's not becoming because, it's not because of distrust, it's not because of insecurity, it's genuinely for my protection, then I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm open to hearing from you and I'm open to not going because this is a discussion that we're having. But if I sense that it's out of lack of self-awareness, lack of, and because of their insecurity, then I'm like, let's tease that out a little bit because... I don't think that it's good to have a relationship where the other person feels insecure. If it truly is, like, if why you wear is, why that... Why is that an insecurity? If it's an insecurity because I'm going to get male attention and you don't like that, then that's an insecurity. Because I'm like, like, my man, trust me. Like, I'm all about you. Like, I'm not doing this for you at all. Like, I want you to have trust for me. And if he's like, oh, yeah, like, let me reflect on that. That is because of my insecurity. Then we could have that discussion. But if it's truly about my protection and he's like listen i know the kinds of guys who are there like that alpha makes me so it's all about and how you communicate it if he communicates into a way that's with sincere love and and like protection for me then i'm like listen i don't understand but you obviously are a man you know how men think and like we have a secure thing and like you're really if the guy i'm tr if i'm the, the guy that i'm dating right now he's so self-aware he's so good at communication he's so trustworthy like he's amazing so could i ask like, you a question if he was like yeah in a second <clears throat> if he was like please do not go to that party dressed like that like it is not gonna go well for you and i just feel so uncomfortable i would be like i might not fully understand that but it seems to me like this isn't coming out of insecurity. It's coming from protection from me. Okay, like, I, I, I'll, I'll, I get that. Before you know I have I mean? her come in, I'll just say what you call insecurity, I call having a standard. I call having a boundary. Go ahead. Um, <clears throat> so earlier when we got the question about what is your ideal, <clears throat> you know, date or whatever, and you said something along the lines of a man who is equally masculine and feminine, I said balanced feminine and masculine energy. Okay. Would you describe your current boyfriend as feminine? I would describe him as masculine, but he has feminine um, energy as well. Okay. That's all.